It lasted, I think, a good four hours when uh, there was still novelty. Uh, maybe just maybe we had found the new Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. But alas, uh, I'm calling it. You probably could have called it a few weeks ago. Make no mistake about it. Threads is dead. Not back. Uh, Never a doubt. Never a yeah. doubt. Yeah, good call on that. Although you did join, but. You know, it was like, all right, cool. I'm getting some new followers, you know, even though it's just like the Instagram follow everyone bullshit. Uh, And then it was exactly Twitter, except the one crucial part that I like Twitter for seeing what's trending. It was basically just people repurposing their content. I was shocked how many people went there and was like, you know, a lot of companies were like, I'm sure going into the goddamn social team's office and like, hey, now you just got to do everything on threads too. So the one thing I did think about that is I understand why some people went there because I was sitting there like, and I just had this thought. I was like, damn, I should have just created a threads account and like just recycled all like my favorite, like meme accounts and like stuff like that. And just like I could grow a threads account, but like using all their shit because people probably, since it's a new platform, it's like, oh, you can probably like build a following like at the beginning of TikTok and stuff. So yeah, but test the like, virality, you know? Yeah. I feel like you'd have to know like, all right, I'm going to do this the day it drops. I thought about that like four days after. And I was like, yeah, this probably wouldn't work now. But it still would have been a waste of time in all reality, because I mean, it came out reported that nobody like, Oh, I mean, obviously there was going to be a plummet from first day users. Like it's in the tens of millions um but it's just the ass just kind of useless. I don't like, I, you know, the clubhouse, Jesus Christ, they they almost were a $4 billion company uh, bought by Twitter. What are they doing now? You know, and uh, Threads, at least, you know, Zuckerberg has like other ventures he's done. He's trying, he's got enough capital and obviously, you know, wherewithal to do other stuff. But hey, bud, this might not be it. Also, yeah. part of me, <clears throat> I have like, you know, how we talked about the bots and stuff that like at least mm-hmm. Elon has come up with the with. With the Twitter, uh, I don't know, acquiring or sale, it makes me also wonder, like, if because I'm trying to look up like real stats on how many users it like. I, I don't know what to trust. Basically, sure, did, sure. Did people with bots just immediately also throw a bunch of bots in there? Who knows? So, anyways, I think it's a. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I don't think it's anything either no it's dead uh i mean elon's trying everything he can to make twitter dead too i mean as long as it's still working fine sorry i meant x right wasn't isn't this the new fucking <laughs> what's going on he changed the company from twitter to x the logo wait what yeah this just happened yeah he's, he's he's what? trying to because he wants to eventually the master plan has always been to build like a super platform like wechat is in asia asia that has like basically okay. like it's like Venmo, like literally anything you can think of under one. So he wants it to be X. It, it's like, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, it's like HBO Max turning to Max, right? I guess they could be whatever they want now instead of just doing content. But that makes sense, right? Yeah, do it all one platform. I mean, Amazon, if you think about it, they have such a great app. They could have done that. Do they? Why didn't they just like purchase Venmo or something? And uh, God, the world of business and just acquisition bullshit is crazy. Um, I think it's getting crazier too. I mean, <clears throat> I, I'd love to actually be corrected by like a true eco- ec- economist or whatever, but like someone who could tell me if when we see things like Apple having billions in cash, I mean, I think they're close, they're, they're nearing a trillion probably before we know it. And is that, is that like wild? Have things just exploded? Like, are companies selling for ridiculous amounts? I mean, we're watching it in sports contracts too. Oh, like yeah. people are just getting bags. Uh, Mbappe, the latest, who's apparently going to make 700 mil in a year just to play one season in uh, Saudi Arabia. That's crazy to me. I, it's, yeah. I love when it's like, that's more than Michael Jordan's like entire NBA career earnings. It's that's like, what I'm saying. It like, feels huh? like it's unreal. Yeah. I thought he, he turned that down or did he? Well, so it's like PSG, they're, yeah, they're negotiating with him. That They paid like, I think, 400 mil just to talk to Mbappe because he's not playing. PSG said they're not going to uh, play him this year because he's leaving for Real anyway. But, I mean, they're just spilling money. They, I'm pretty sure Benzema is uh, over there, too, with Ronaldo. Like, they've got, they're just, they're trying to be the pro soccer league. 
And Ronaldo already says they're going to be, I mean, they're way better. <laughs> Arsenal played their like C squad against the MLS all-stars and it was seven, nothing like, it's just, you know, MLS is still not there yet. Like there's Dutch leagues and like other leagues and like the Saudi league is probably way better than an MLS is right now. But then Messi, as we w- just get to this, there was a little bit of controversy uh, surrounding his first game, which I, it wasn't a regular season MLS game. He might, it might've been lower level. I don't know what it was, but it sold out, brought all the stars and he's uh, only offered at most sports books to score a goal, not to score a goal was not an option. Usually you get that option. Uh, and he's sitting, he is on the bench <laughs> to begin the game and people are going, Oh my God, is this just a scam? He gets subbed on and people are going, wait a second. He's still not scoring. And that's the free kick winner. Um, soccer in the U.S. I think that's going to be awesome. I would love to go pay see him play. It's obviously showing that ticket prices are driven up because of Messi just being here. Uh, except when he's grocery shopping and no one even notices him. You see that shit? That was hysterical. He didn't even <laughs> yeah. get noticed at Publix in Florida. Dude, he's got to yeah. love that. I bet. Oh yeah, what, yeah. What, what I college? mean, he's probably like shit. You know, it's a culture change. You know, if he's like living here full time, he's probably like, damn, I haven't hired a chef yet. I gotta actually go get some food. And he's just going to local Publix. Yeah. Um, but he like did God, score a goal. God everywhere like, else. And like, stormed well, in the streets. Too. Yeah. Thank goodness. We can all collectively now take a breath. The Andrew Schultz pod has been released. Uh, it was his, collab, his collab with Nelk. Uh, I was expecting it to be more funny. Uh, Jack, I don't know if you saw any of the clips, but like I thought he would be going at Steiny and actually like be funny. It was more just awkward than anything. And I don't know who was in the wrong. <laughs> like, yeah, the, the Nell boys always ask terrible questions. Yeah, it's easy to make fun of Steiny. He's probably on his phone. Well, it Scholes acted like he was the best get of an interview since Michael Jackson. You know, I didn't get where he was coming from there. Yeah, I've only seen the clips. I've been meaning to listen to it, but I'd be interested to hear that because I know Steiny was really like, didn't want it out. But the clips kind of look like Andrew Scholes is just like, does think he's like, the cream of the crop to, to get yeah right i don't know he yeah he thought he was like and i get i also see from Scholz's point where he's like i'm taking time out of my day to do this like the people are on their phone they're asking questions which is like if you even did a google search of him or watched a couple of his videos of prep you know you probably ask more inter- interesting questions but yeah he was i thought it was just awkward you know he was like what are you He's like, what are you doing? And then it, it just it couldn't get Steve was on that podcast and like those guys didn't even know what to do. Yeah. Um, well, Steve, I mean, Steve at least openly says he's like, I go on podcasts and I don't say anything. I just right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, but now Bradley Martin's gone. Did you yeah. Know that he's yeah, that's kind of crazy. And the, no ill will, but he's you know, he does his podcast, too. But they asked him to do it. And it, it just seems a little bit on court, uh, you know, not really. Like, I don't know, There's, they've had two different hosts now, and they haven't really talked about how they're they're leaving. Martin is a guy, he was just like, yeah, and it was right after he went at Steiny. You know, does he have, like, photos of Kyle or something? Because he's the guy that's lasted the longest. Yeah, I, that's why, like, Kyle's built such a crazy thing, but it's, like, mm-hmm. interesting to me, his choices and, like, right. So I don't know where he, th- yeah, where he thinks Steiny is the guy carrying the pot. I mean, Bradley Martin wasn't great, but at least he has success as hosting. Like he does a good job hosting his own podcast, you know, where he could do both. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, they have great guests, but it's like that's basically the backbone <laughs> of the pod is, hey, come shoot the crap with uh, Kyle and Steiny. Um, yeah. Well, this it's maybe a little bit better than uh, the Jason Love post game interview. Uh, so, uh, just a, what a weird chapter in the saga of the age of the internet. Uh, you know, they're totally cool now. They're flaming each other. The video comes out. Um, any wrap up thoughts on uh, one of the wilder times of the internet? It's just like not a good look for people to spend their time like or like kids taking that in. It's like. Right. Good point. I, I just think it's what dumb. Is, I also think Adam 22 is literally a fucking scumbag. I've always thought that. Like he yeah, was on Bradley Martin's podcast talking about how he would, like he he made a bag off it and like people don't realize the type of bag you can make doing like OF and stuff. And like he, and then he said, he's like, you know, before I got like big, I used to be down to make money in any way possible to not get a job. I'd be a drug dealer. I'd be a credit card scammer. I did all that shit. And I'm like, God, you were just a fucking shitty person. Yeah. Um, a shitty person. 
And a good point for that too is like, all right, I understand. Okay, Adam twenty two, you know, I I get like not absolutely flaming you, even though I think that is too totally acceptable because it's uh, very fucked up. But okay, you got your bag, like you said. Okay, you went viral. You were number one on Pornhub searching. Don't be going. Your relationship's mature enough. Whatever, you know, you can say whatever. <laughs> Don't be going around acting like you're the man after this. You know, like, bro, that is the argument you cannot make after something like this. But okay, I yeah, I guess he got his money. I would take a hiatus. Yeah, I mean, just be like, yo, I'm, I'll go on. Like, while this is about to happen, if you're gonna, like, if you're gonna know about all this and everything, it's like I'm also gonna coincidentally be like in Italy for the like three, four weeks. Yeah, <laughs> I, know, know, like, I don't know. Just time it up that way. Maybe it was him who was behind. I thought it was all Lena's idea. And then he just got like, he doubled down by saying, you know what? I'm going to interview this guy after right. it happened. You know, after right. I watched him and then before the rest of the world, you know, yeah, it's, it's, pretty wild that, it's pretty wild that he went from like the way he would talk about it. He'd be like, mm-hmm. yeah, our agreement is like, you know, we're married, but like I can, we like, we can hook up with girls together, but she can't hook up with any guys. And then he can pull like, yeah. For it to happen one time and then him to literally like promote it, like that's such a fucking 180. That's insane. Yeah. Well, and the of Andrew Scholl's podcast of all things, the, the clip from like a couple of years ago where they go, You're gonna film with dudes? They both look at each other and go, No, you know, no, you know, yeah, money, everyone has a price. Uh, yeah. and I guess Adam found his, yeah, his interview with Bradley. Money, I thought he was wasted, he's wearing sunglasses. He's like, Yeah, man, what? Yeah, he's just talking about all sorts of shit. Might be yeah. fucked up, yeah. Odds are. Uh, this was kind of fucked up, uh, you know, kind of passed in the news yet is uh, Britney Spears rushing Victor Wimpignana, getting tossed aside, smacked by her security guard. You know, th- I hope she's all right from that. But the video came out and it was like, what is she doing? Well, you know, like she just looked like she, she's like chasing after him. You know, he's got a full retail of security. And uh, is Britney Spears OK? Like, yes, uh, after the hit, but also mentally, you know, like. She's been doing some weird shit lately. Yeah, she's been, I mean, ever since all that shit about, like, her conservative ship and, right. like, all the... Messy just, situation. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. She's definitely got some. But you also got to think about, like, he probably, like... Has like, no idea who she is. I was going right. to say, like, he's French, and, like, this makes me feel old. French, like, he's 18. He's 18? Yeah, you know, maybe that's, 19. like, not his generation to know who she is. So, like, he probably had no idea. I just watched clips of, you know, kids running up to speed in front of Kim Kardashian. You know, and, like, yeah. imagine how that's got to make her feel. If you're uh, 18 yeah. today in 2023, that puts you at, what, 2005? And with that last... is what's crazy to think about. 18 yeah, years right. from today is already halfway through the 2000s. And then, yeah, that's wild, actually, the way you just said that. But, dude, uh, and then you look at this, and, yeah, some of her last good albums are when he was born. Sure. Like, 2007, 2008, like, uh, 2003. So, yeah, there's no chance this dude knows him. That he was a And then top. she went away for a while, obviously, because of, you know, mental right. health and then, you know, the conservatorship. So, yeah, I. Uh, uh, that was crazy. Yeah, that's wild. But and he, yeah, like that was his first press conference, I think, for the Spurs. It was it was weird. I was like, you know, because we didn't need what, to know everything. We're like, what the hell? You know, was he in the wrong? And then we saw the video, and yeah, I think his bodyguard was in the wrong, right? Don't strike a woman. Sure. But like, you know, he was protecting this guy, and it yeah, was really his job. It was really absurd how she was running up to Wembanyama like from behind, like chasing him down in a restaurant. It was like, has yeah. anyone asked like what? Is she a huge NBA fan? Yeah, That's like, that was so random. Yeah, she knows who Wembanyama is. Like, okay, that's right. a little deep. Like, yeah, racial yeah. talent, but uh, I don't. She I, must maybe know she's ball. Right, yeah. <laughs> Brittany knows ball. Jesus, I mean, dude, Christ. she's locked up in her house. Like, maybe she's, right. t- <laughs> she's like, yeah. all into the NBA. She's a huge first take fan. She's yeah, she, yeah, she loves Stephen A. Um, Larry Nasser, speaking of lo- locked up, stabbed in prison. Good, you know, are we allowed to say that? You know, that's uh, horrible, yeah, bad human, but yeah, uh, crazy. I wonder, like, was that you know, was someone like, have people been trying to do that in prison, you know, or was someone like today they were getting them, like, fuck that, you I know, because I think it was, was a- Larry, what Larry Nasser, like- the uh, yeah, guy who abused, yeah. yeah, I think it was like an argument. Or okay yeah maybe, maybe like over loose know, cigarettes I, or something yeah yeah I, 
I read it, but I forgot what the exact I don't, reason I, was. Yeah, I hope I hope all bad things happen to these kind of guys. So bingo. Um, people are hoping I, I guess we I forget. But... Hey, no, I think everyone's with you. Um, pe- we're trying. People are hoping that we forget about this. The blow. Uh, was it near Kamala's car? I saw that narrative. It was near the Situation Room, and poof, we're on. We're on to next week. All right, what Britney yeah. Spears smugged Wen Banyana, vice versa. Okay, yep, no more. This is when they get the monkey and the dart out, and they spin a wheel, and they look. They just have different yeah. stories to run. Right. That's how hey, I look, feel. there's Messi scoring a goal. Yeah, um, <laughs> the... like I, I, it, it does feel very like. What we got a half assed couple different like sources say, like, well, I guess we'll never know. Like, it, it, it's truly bizarre how they kind of got away with it. I mean, the right wing, like, <laughs> you figured they would be able to. That, I mean, that's like, <laughs> what I felt like you'd be able to run with that for days, but yeah, now just hey, we're on to the next thing. Yeah, uh, whatever. Utopia live from the pyramids. How is this logistically even possible? Travis Scott's new album, Scott's new album. Uh, and he's streaming it live from Giza. Um, I think that's sick as fuck, but uh, is it going to be hype? Apparently, there's like some sort of venue there because okay. Tygo and Fiesto are going to be there in October. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I, don't know. I thought Egypt was kind of violent. Maybe that was the last decade. Yeah, I, I don't know. I always wonder like the <laughs> rules with that with like alcohol and stuff there. Like, I wouldn't want to be like, yeah, or bring, yeah, people. bringing hash oil. Um, yeah or like acting like i'm in miami but i'm in like sure yeah yeah egypt yeah Yeah. Uh, my dad's been to egypt a couple times um but i yeah i can't see myself getting there anytime you know i don't know i i guess maybe to see one of the seven world wonders but nah well let's go to the luxor in vegas um (laughs) all right let's get to uh movies and tv uh first of all the americans is hitting jack uh holy crap yeah like the start of season two i was like jesus christ uh so i'm definitely binging the hell out of that right now uh i think this is going to be epic napoleon starring joaquin phoenix the trailers came out was that ridley scott uh was that yeah so all the hype i and i was like jesus christ i think it's gonna be sick yeah i agree i uh i love joaquin phoenix and ridley scott makes good like movies about people's lives yeah. So. Yep. Um, all right. Last thing for me before we get to the tea with Jack D. I don't want to say too much about this, but we're getting sued. Uh, so basically, like, uh, you know, we they claim that we like copyrighted an image from doing basically a YouTube thumbnail for just like top, you know, being topical. Um, basically, you do a Google search of these people that tried to sue us, and it's a clear copyright troll scam like where they're like hey we'll make this go away if you hit this link and uh you know you pay this amount of money so i mean it's been hectic but we've got to figure it out and it's just like but it's like in part of it because i talked to a lawyer and was like you know it's like wait so how like look at any youtube channel ever you know especially a sports thing where it's like you know fantasy football today it's like where are they getting those photos for? Or it's like, yeah, start sit, Melvin Gordon. So I just sent him like a screenshot of a couple of YouTube channels. I'm like, wait, so like, what is this? And he's like, oh, it looks like they used part of an image and then made it their own. And I was like, that's literally exactly what we fucking do. And yeah. he's going to get back to me. So it was, I was just like, I, I was like, we must be doing something, right? It's not every day you get sued. But like, yeah, so that was something. We what about like when Rogan has Jamie pull up like a random video or like stuff from exactly. The- what about today, where unfortunately Bronny James has a scary episode, you know, cardiac arrest? Everyone has to post about it. And when you're just any account on Twitter, where are you getting that photo of Bronny from? You yeah. Know? yeah. Like, so no, I think is... there, there's a lot of gray area there. It was just kind of ridiculous that this fucking happened to us. So, back. Uh, it, it happens all over, too. I, I don't really need to go into it, but it, one of my careers saw it at the second job I've had saw it like it happens all over and it's the same story it's like well when we when we literally create our own image based off of something that you also saw over there oh exactly i mean ed sheeran went to trial because like oh his music kind of sounds like marvin gay it's such a gray area especially in the age of internet you know it's before like photographers and it was like i don't know it's it's a fucking mess but i think we figured it out um 
and we are a part of the YouTube partner program now, which is kind of cool. So uh, check go. us out there and thank you guys to uh, who watches there via YouTube. So that's good stuff. Um, all right, let's get to the tea with Jack T. All right. Well, I guess piggybacking off that with the whole X thing, someone found that Microsoft owns the trademark for the name X from like a long time ago that they never ended up like using it. Yeah. Also, someone found that the logo for X is like some like something you can buy, like how Joey bought our wing in it logo. Like it was okay, bought off right. like a like a something like small like that. And yeah. they also were in the middle of taking down the Twitter name at the Twitter headquarters and putting X up. And the police stopped them halfway through because they didn't have the permits to <laughs> use the cranes outside. So <laughs> there's that's crazy. Yeah. Elon's yeah. is doing the most there. I mean, and that's a whole world I just don't understand is the copyright world. You know? Yeah. I mean, people like people are hating on him and have his doubts. I'm still giving him the benefit of the doubt because I love Twitter. Maybe this is a master plan, but he keeps running into stuff that gives just people more ammo. Of exactly. Like, yeah. But I mean, yeah. I think, you know, he could have panicked about threads and he didn't. And I think, you know, I think everyone collectively was like, yeah. If they're not saying yeah. it, I think they think it and know it that Twitter's obviously still superior. Mm-hmm. Of course. Um, Congress to hold historic UFO hearing tomorrow. Yeah, we get this every year, I feel like, and it's just it, it's <laughs> bullshit. It's we'll, I'll wait for, you know, the clips that go viral after it to tell us if actually anything was said. Right. Yeah. If I don't need anything. Richard Blumenthal, you know, getting 20 minutes to ask one question. Well, well, what we need to be asking is how much of our tax money is propping this biannual conference up? (laughs) Yeah, right. Everyone's flying in on jets, too, by the way. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Aaron Hernandez's brother arrested after allegedly planning two school shootings. What? Jesus Christ, man. Wait, whose brother? Aaron Aaron Hernandez. Hernandez, like the dude who went to jail for the for right. murder. Right. Well, and he's uh, gone yeah, now, now, but like his What's wrong with brother that family? is yeah. is his brother in high school? Right. No, his brother's like he's like an adult. Like, looks like kind of looks like him. Like I mean, that's fucked up for him to kind of be plotting against. Uh, yeah. Like anyway, that's oh, sorry. That just where was he me. arrested? Does it say? He's his older brother. Um, okay. Well. Yeah. Well. Let's. See. And his brother, yeah, he, uh, I think in, I want to say they're from New England, making threats against the, oh, against Yukon and Brown. Wow, so college. Right, it's a New England area, yeah. Yeah. Fucked up. Um, says that he's extremely sick and his mental health is deteriorating. Okay. Um, this is pretty crazy, all that, that murder trial that's been going on forever with Y and W Melly. Um, it is a, uh, it got declared a mistrial because the, it was a stalemate on the jurors, but the yeah. prosecutor said he's going to retry it. So I don't know how that works. If you just like, right. Yeah. I don't either, but yeah, I was fascinated by that shit. Uh, that was, like, that was viral on TikTok for a week where it's like, it couldn't leave my for you page when he saw the op in yeah. court um and then that dude that dude with the stocking fucking uh testifying against him and him like recognizing him after was crazy yeah so mr so he gets let go basically uh yeah but then i that's what i'm curious if they can just like automatically just retry it and like he'll yeah. end up going to but I, I yeah i don't know he'll get a he'll get a something in the mail and it'll say like oh you need to appear at this but i don't think it could be locked up in the meantime right like, right yeah. i think it'll be it, at most, they could maybe put him on some sort of house arrest right now. Sure. But like, yeah. For the most part, you're right. Like, you're a free man until proven. Every, every comma was like, dude's lawyer's the goat. Yeah. Uh, he must have been good. Yeah. Or when they played, I'm just wondering. Murder, they played murder on my mind as evidence. And he's sitting there like, he's like, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, all right, sp- big sports contracts. Jalen Brown and Boston Celtics agreed a three hundred four million dollar contract extension. Bunch of memes on Twitter today talking about how 
they signed they they maxed contracted a one handed player because he can't go to his left. Yeah, that's Ben, ben Shapiro. Just, yeah, that's <laughs> what you say. I literally just got a notification from ESPN for Justin Herbert. I, I just oh really? That. Wow. Yeah, I five mean the money's year, crazy. Five year two sixty two for Herbert. <laughs> Unreal. I mean that makes me. I mean, we're still young, right? So, I mean, the money it like is, you know, out there. It's just spilling daily. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess money always goes up is what we learn from looking at, you know, what you buy a house for in the seventies versus now, and it's just for everything. It's all fake. It's all fake. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, it's um, crazy. Right. Uh, yeah, Ben Shapiro. I mean, if he's ripping you about ball, you must really be bad. Yeah. yeah. Um. Bronny James, yeah, we talked about cardiac arrest. I can't believe it happened yesterday and how they were able to keep that under wraps until, like, this morning. Uh, But, yeah, yeah, glad he's okay. But, of course, immediately people are like, myocarditis, bro. You know, the – Yeah, no, that's dumb. Because, like, we had – we had – me and Jack played football with a guy in high school that, like, passed out on the field. And, I mean, he just had a bad heart. I've got a few Mm -hmm. buddies with a – yeah, yeah, I mean, lack of better terms, bad heart, but like, you know, heart defects from birth and stuff. Right. And they just get a, they have to have an operation or what have you. And either you, you can continue playing or not. So that I, agree. It's yeah, stupid it, to I jump. mean, I don't want to jump to like the next, like, hopefully it's okay. But now I'm thinking right. like draft stock. Now I'm thinking like, what is he going to stay with USC? You know, what's he, is this the Lakers plan to get him, you know, drafted so low that he goes to LeBron? Yep. All right. That yep. would be too far, but <laughs> no, this is all um, set to, to get him no, but it's all like wasn't Le- LeBron like wasn't isn't LeBron unvaccinated? Like I thought that was also part of the rumor mill. So what is I forgot. Sunday? I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really care. I thought we were all past yeah. that. Yeah. He probably is, if I had to guess, with how much he. All right, is Bronny or not Bronny? I guess I have to actually look up LeBron. Yep. He was supposed to. All right. Yeah. Um, Pete Davidson required to perform 50 hours of community service after he got a uh, reckless reckless driving charge after crashing into a Beverly Hills home. And everyone's memeing it, playing the Kanye song, Drive Slow, over it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's kind of great. I, I didn't see that. What the fuck? He yeah. crashed into a house? I yeah. mean, that's not a typical crash there, Pete. It's not. Uh, I thought you were going to say it was for his call to PETA. Like, no, <laughs> no, that was pretty threatening. Was I'm also not surprised a little bit, only because ever since this dude made it, like, I don't know what you want to say, but like, kind of made it big or like, kind of made a big splash in this celeb media game. Viral, was, like, like, yeah. Once you went viral, thank you. Once you went viral, it's like I was like when is this guy going to crash and burn? There's no way this is going to be sustainable for the next 40 years of his life. Uh, it's tough. Um, Tom Brady officially has a new girlfriend, Irina Shake, Shank, Shake. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I don't know either. So not Kim K. Yeah. No, but appears to be a model. And there was a quote that apparently Giselle is not happy about it yeah i was gonna say we haven't seen much from giselle i guess yet on that front yeah always tough did we ever though without tom rumored uh a b but that was with tom uh no yeah we don't know yet uh florida governor Ron DeSantis was involved in a car accident on the way to his campaign with pete <laughs> um, <laughs> not driving uh, but he was not. Uh, of course not. Yeah. Oh, he was driving. No, uh, he, he was, was not driving. And he not was not injured. driving, but he was not injured. But apparently, dude, was, that dude. Uh, I think he's about to lose a shit ton of. I I hear. I thought his campaign. You know, I don't know anything about politics, but I thought his campaign had steam. It sounds like it is just a dud right now. Like he's got no shot basically at the presidency. But Creed, the band, the band Creed, Creed, has, has reunited, reunited and will perform, perform their, their first show. show. In 12, 12 years, years on a six-day six cruise dedicated, dedicated to 2000 Rock. <laughs> that would be oh, epic. That would be epic. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm trying to think because cruises, cruises are so funny. funny. Like, there's, there's the daytime band, there's the show, you know, at night, but then there's also, like, the lounge band. I wonder, or maybe they're just playing throughout the fucking day. 
Yeah. Yeah. They're the, 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 the violin crew from Titanic. Titanic. Right. Yeah. He's yeah. just yeah. everywhere. Uh, uh, it's it's just kind of random, random, but they, a, a search, search warrant was executed, executed in, in Bad Data related, related to the potential, potential killer, killer of Tupac. Tupac. They went into a house, into a house and took a laptop, laptop and took right. something else. So, what? So, what? Yeah, 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 that just came up. Yeah. I, love, like, I love like the just thinking of the disgruntled detective who's just been on this for like 25 years like true detective he finally gets the break well i mean how about the fucking uh break in that serial killer case from uh uh this guy just got arrested up in like killings near long island or some shit yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw uh, he was just living amongst people yeah mm-hmm. yeah um so so, so two pop- pop- just let's, let's not break over this, this one, one too quick. quick. It's, it's in, in New, New Mexico, Mexico, you said? In Nevada. 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 And they, there, was there was a real search warrant issued by a real judge. judge. Dude. For a lot of time. I want to know, know, know how, how old this judge is. Yeah. Look it up. In and out burger. This is kind of crazy. It has banned employees from wearing masks to work without a doctor's note. So they're just like, just like saying, fuck the mask. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's into some movies and TV. The second season of Winning Time, the later show, will be coming out in the beginning of August 6th. And we also have the Steph Curry documentary coming out on Apple TV. The Mandel documentary, which I'm home for. Um, and then in, in terms, terms of the shows, shows I've, I've kind of been on, on a movie kick lately. lately. I've been I've watching Americans, Americans, but I've also been, been this week. I watched He, which I've never, never seen before. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I just watched that uh, this past couple, couple months ago. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. awesome. And then, and then I, I watched Ray with Jamie Foxx Fox Fox Ray Charles, Charles which, which I had never seen. seen. Um, Sorry, that wraps it up. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I was just thinking, uh, Gemstones is going on. I just watched the latest episode. I think this season's been great. Um, I really that's enjoyed someone it. Someone was telling me in a group chat today. That's, that's, that's on my that's list, my, list of my, of my like easy, easy show, show to watch. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah so, so that's, that's been doing, doing yeah, well, you wait until, I think uh, they just had episode, episode seven, seven, so I don't know if the last one's coming out or if it's 10. Um, yeah, yeah, the Americans is money. You're, you're going, going to see Oppenheimer. Um, you know, I'm, I'm fucking jacked for you. Uh, I'm, I'm trying, trying to see that this week, if not the next, so let me know how it is. Um, Barbie, what do you think? Anyone, uh, anyone see Barbie? Any, anyone hear anything? I saw it. <laughs> okay, go on. Let's, yeah, let's, let's give me the deets because I'm already, I'm already not seeing it based on your reaction. There's, there's just, I mean, I, mean, I was just. just too much. You were disappointed, I guess. When I mean, it's just like, I get, I get the, the message 100%. 100%. It, was it was good. good. It, was it was funny. Will, Will Ferrell's hilarious in it. I did not know, know he was going to be in it. He plays the, the CEO of the, of the company, company that owns Barbie. Barbie. And was he you prepared to don't look, look up? Kind of like, or you're just like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just a lot like thrown at you. Put it that way. Put it that way. Like, where you're like, yeah. Well, yeah, I'll see. Uh, I'll see it now. I'll see. I'll see it for sure. i sure. I mean, maybe I'll wait till that one comes out on some streaming service. You know, Oppenheimer. I gotta go see it. You know? Yeah. See, yeah. See, that's what, if there's there an IMAX nearby, nearby now, now all, the, all, the all the hype, hype about, about IMAX and 1901 all that stuff, stuff like. like I, I'm, I'm like, like, well, I kind of wanted, wanted to see it the way he suggested. Oh, the no, no, millimeter no, film or whatever. Yeah, yeah. so now I'm hesitant because three, three, three hours, hours I'm, I'm, I'm with, with you, dude. dude. Like, I just saw a movie this past, past weekend, weekend and, and I, uh, I uh, got, got up twice. twice. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> bro, I'm gonna my prostate check. Uh, prostate check. I can't be doing this. Three we, we, we have one of the IMAXs, but it's sold out until like late August. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. So they just they they hyped it up for no reason. reason. They, they hyped, hyped it up for yeah, the extra move up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's good, good stuff. stuff. That's a tea with Jack D. Appreciate it, fellas. And we'll talk to you next week.